Pete, married father of three, Yunus Algahar. He's unfortunately been unemployed since 1999 due to suffering severe migraines and has been reliant on government support to help him and his family. The family lived in rented accommodation in Kingswood, a leafy, affluent suburb 18 miles south of London, and he was helped out by Rygate and Banstead Borough Council. Julian Ellicott is a local councillor there. Rygate and Banstead Borough Council is responsible for paying uh, a number of benefits, housing benefit, council tax benefit in particular, and we pay those to people in need of them, mainly unemployed, um, people on low incomes. People just like Eunice Algahar. Eunice Algahar was claiming housing benefit and council tax benefit from Rygate and Banstead Borough Council and he was also claiming income support from the Department for, for Work and Pensions. Sounds fair enough, but when Algahar moved, the landlord of his new property got in touch with the council and an investigation kicked off. The case landed on the desk of one of the council's fraud investigators, who, due to the nature of his work, has asked to remain anonymous. It's common practice for, for the landlord of a property to, to ring up the council and inform them that a new, a new tenant has moved in because the tenant then becomes liable for, for the council tax bill. And this was the case with, with Eunice Alcar, the landlord called up and informed the council uh, of the tenancy conditions. It transpired through that initial phone call that the landlord was charging nearly double the amount Eunice Algahar was claiming. What was going on? The fraud team decided to take a look at Algahar's original claims. As part of the investigation, I contacted the, um, the letting agents for the property in Kingswood and asked them to provide a copy of the, um, the genuine tenancy agreement. The agreement they provided me with showed that the, uh, the rental amount was actually £2,700 a month. However, the agreement that Eunice Algahar provided the council stated that his rent was only £1,400 per month. So, why was Algahar paying nearly twice the amount of rent he was claiming? The amount of extra money Eunice Algahar was forking out to his landlord didn't sit well with someone who was supposedly reliant on income support. The investigators widened their search. It's common practice to do what's called open source intelligence searching, which is basically putting a name in, into an internet website, um, searching and seeing what comes up. Uh, on this occasion, um, I found that Eunice Alcar was uh, had quite a high profile um, public um, presence on the internet, as well as his own website, um, all which were linking him to uh, an organisation called the Messiah Foundation International. From the, the web searches, there were lots of pictures of, of Eunice Alcar in various situations. I was able to compare these pictures to what we already held.